Well, we made it. 6.30 in the morning. Gideon actually slept pretty good. He's yeah. ready to get up and go. Yeah. It's not even light out yet, Mr. Brown. Yeah. But you're ready to go. Yeah. I got up with Gideon. He got back in the bed with Mama. And all the other chiddlers crawled in the bed with Mama this morning. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Did everybody sleep okay? Yeah. Sorry, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Even you slept pretty good, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Did everybody stay warm? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you stay yes. warm, Mom? I did. Good. It was, it was fabulous. I slept so good. Yep. We had an electric heater. That's it. And we closed off our door. And it's a lot warmer in this room than it is over there in the living room. It's cold out in this section, isn't it, guys? So cold. You doing all right, Princess? Okay, let's go to the house. So what was it really like our first night in the bus? Well, you're smiling. It so great. it was a good experience. Yes, it was. It was so good. I'm looking forward to doing it again tonight. Yep. I think we're pretty much in till, yeah. till we go, right? I think we're going to move in to the bus officially so that we can kind of clean out our rooms and get everything ready. We started out the night. We put everybody in their beds. We knew it was going to be dark. It was yeah. going to be a problem. Are we going to do something about maybe a nightlight for them or something yes. like that? Yes, we're going to do nightlight because when we yeah. turned out the lights, it was so dark. So that's what this is all about. Mr. Learning. Brown was, he is in his words, scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, so. Scurry, scurry. We tried to all sleep in our separate beds. We thought because we're so close, there's Mr. Brown's bed. We had that door shut down there. We thought that he would be okay. Just being right there. He yeah. wasn't, so... It was a little too dark, so I think we're going to get some battery-operated, um, like a little nightlight or something for him. This simulate Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, it's time to go to bed. Go to bed, buddy. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to get in there with you. You guys ready? How'd I do that? Okay, I think I went in like this. There we go. There we go. That's not too bad. All right. And I laid here with Mr. Brown, set up like this. And to make everybody more comfortable in this spot, I read, I read everyone a book. Pippi goes on board, and that was good for a laugh for everyone. Mr. Brown went right to sleep. Thank God, because I don't know how long I'd want to sit in here like this. And she was probably the very next to go to sleep. And no, you might even beat Mr. Brown. I think I was the first, because you, right. like, were in there, and I was... Passed out. in bed right here. Pass out on top here. Ugh. Turn the other way. You were turning the other way. I was, I was. And we, I don't know if you noticed, but we're on a little bit of a slant. We're leaning that way. So I crawled in the bed here, and we're on the slant here. The hill's that way. Down. So I grabbed on here. And hung on. <laughs> so that I wouldn't roll down. <laughs> so I wouldn't roll away. But that was kind of useless. Through, after a while. And then I realized, just roll with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> and I was on this wall, and it felt so good. This was a really nice sleep in this bed. It was. This, this is a really comfortable bed. This bed is so comfortable. I love a thick comforter. Yeah, it's a. And it's got a wool comforter. Every, it's wool inside of the duvet cover. And everybody slept amazing. Yes. Except... <laughs> Mr. Brown only woke one, once, and that was just to get in our bed. He didn't have to eat anything. Yeah. And why didn't you sleep good? What was going well, on with that? Well, I woke up, and I just was feeling like, I don't know. Well, one, I was worried because my children, like, hadn't made, hadn't moved at all. Like, I don't think anybody moved. I think it was completely silent. So you were scared. Room. It was too quiet. It was too good. It was too quiet. It's like yeah. that when the toddler is playing. So she the, said, hey, Justin, check on the kids. So I looked down the hallway and I looked at everybody and I said they're all right and yeah. she said no no said, no go check them go <laughs> check sure. if they're breathing, sure they're breathing. <laughs> so I get up is this one breathing is this one breathing <laughs> <laughs> you laugh because you know it's true but know, that wasn't it's, it it's, there was something else well then, then I got a text late, and so then oh, I was like, I about the text. who texted me so late? So then I had to, I woke up, or I got out of bed, and then I was like, oh no, I have to pee. But we haven't set up our composting toilet yet, so I was I don't like, even know how to use that compost. Well, it's I just need up, to read the directions, <laughs> and so I was like, oh no. So, but then luckily I didn't have to go that bad, so I was able to get back in bed. And then I wanted to have a little bit of, I wanted to crack the window, so it just felt stuffy and. It, still have the new smell. It just had like a 
smell to it. I guess we haven't lived in it long enough for it to yeah. catch our smell. I just felt like we needed a little bit of fresh air coming in. So I opened it and it was actually really nice. It wasn't bad at all. The, the fresh air was very nice. Mr. Brown woke up at 6.30, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And I guess we were pretty much ready to go because we had a great night's sleep. We noticed condensation on the windows, so... Yeah, so I need part... to bring a towel, and that's going to be yeah. part of it, so... Because the outside air is cold, cold, and the inside is warm, Yeah. and we'll just all... You know, it's good that we're practicing like this, because now we know we're going to have to have a towel ready. So let's talk about what we learned. What are some things? I mean, we learned about the condensation. I learned that I wanted to... I want to buy that Reflectix that you buy. It's like a, this insulation stuff. We had some earlier. And I want to cut those to the window sizes, so I think that that would also help. That's an insulation things. barrier. Right? Yeah. Curtains. Mm -hmm. Behind okay. the curtains. And then I learned that my door system worked. You know, yesterday having all those people in the bus, I was kind of wishing that maybe we had gone with the barn door, which we had thought that we would maybe go with in the beginning. But then I came up with that concept where I would like to maybe be able to block off the back of the bus for heating or cooling purposes or for just some privacy. And so yesterday when we were doing the open ha open bus, I was like, oh, maybe we should have done the barn door. But then last night, it was so nice. Like it was so much colder out here than it was back there. When I came to get the phone, I came out and I opened that door up and whoo, it was so much colder out here. And I was like, yes, that is exactly what I was talking about, you know? I think that I do want to maybe crack my window tonight before I go to bed. I'm so looking forward to the propane being hooked up and for our water to be hooked up. I think that's happening tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get the propane yeah. up tomorrow with Tad. Mm -hmm. And Jeff's coming back tomorrow for the water, so hopefully that'll be. So it'll be more and more things that yeah. we are doing daily until we're in here yeah. and moving out. And I'm really, 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 really looking forward to being in the bus completely, 100%, not relying on the house at all, but having it there for if we need it before we leave. So far, so good. I mean, we haven't gotten that far into this, but next, you know, we want to start cooking in here. We want to start doing the using, I want to try the washing machine and dryer. We need to take a shower. We need to bathe the kids. We need to do our nighttime routine out here. You know, we just need to practice doing things that we're used to doing. Yeah. But the kids are super excited. Oh yeah. They're loving it. Oh, Christy, I'm looking at your shirt there. Did your team win last night? They absolutely did. Okay, good. We weren't really sure if they would, but uh, they fired back in the last quarter of the game and good old Tom Brady pulled it out. <laughs> I heard it was crazy. It was really crazy. I watched football history unfold. And I heard you got an Instagram account. Is that right? I've been bugging her to get an Instagram account because some of you guys want to follow her in some way. That's going to be the way to do it. What is the name of your Instagram account? It's Christy Zabillet. Yeah, and we want to follow you it's too. very original. And yeah, well, so I'll leave the link. And Beauty has gotten her own iPhone. We've had two iPhones. Or no, we've had one cell phone for our entire marriage. Yeah. You finally got one. I did. What's your, what's your, now you're going to, that means you're going to have your own Instagram. What's I the am. Name it? It's just Rebecca underscore Rhodes. Okay, I'll Real. leave it. I'll leave that link. <laughs> okay, what about you, Arun and Amy? You want people to follow you on Instagram? No. Just, uh, you know what, Arun? If you've got one, I'll link it. Even if you don't know the name of it. Oh, okay. Do you because actually I, post pictures there? Oh, yeah. I post some pictures. Okay. I post from uh, Colorful India. Oh, cool. Okay. Good. I'll link to that. And now that I've got my own phone too, all those Instagrams linked below. We'll see you there.